How you doing? Good, how are you? Adam? Very well. Adam. I'm Bob. Pleasure. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Go ahead and have a seat here. Okay. And adjust a seat, just like you would in your normal vehicle. What kind of car do you normally drive? Do you uh, I have a Nissan Pathfinder. Okay. This is going to be real similar to that. This is going to be a Ford Explorer. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and shift into drying. Okay. And just ease onto the road over here to your left. Merge into traffic, easy on the gas. Okay, the speedometer is right ahead of you. How's it feel to you? Um, takes, I think, a little getting used to. It does. That's what you're doing. You're getting used to it. So, okay, we're going to move into a little more uh, city type traffic. Steering film right for you. Yeah, it seems to. Um, it's, it's real sensitive. Very sensitive. Hi. Okay. Good morning, Kate. Bob. Nice, yeah, to nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Go ahead and have a seat, Kate. This is your typical car, okay. so you can adjust the seat back or forward, however you want. Yeah, so that's all we're doing, is just getting familiar with the scenarios. So. Whoa, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Turns. These are just weird. get comfortable <laughs> with the way the steering, it's real easy to oversteer. Then we'll turn left again. Doing? I don't know. Distracted, I guess. It's probably texting. Yeah, probably texting. So our volunteers have now finished their first round on the simulator. What they're going to do now is go out and ingest marijuana. They're going to come back and take another test, but this time they're going to have a DRE, a drug recognition expert here, watching them drive and seeing what the effects might be. And we'll see what happens. It was on the way across in front of us, so we'll go ahead and start the car. Left or right, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You can okay. pick it. You so just move out to the highway and turn left or right. And that's also some of the stuff that you did this morning. Yes, a little bit. And then he thought that the speed limit was 50 and it was 55. But in, you see, before, earlier, he was driving probably about five miles an hour faster originally. And that's why he started. He said he was doing that. And, that's, and I think he was paying very close attention to the fact that he was staying five miles an hour faster, the same as he did earlier when we set the, uh, uh, you know, when we ended up doing the first initial drive. He, so he was definitely more more nervous here than he was before. He, he, he found he was, the horn button well, really the easy. Thing that, the biggest himself. thing that I ended up noticing <laughs> very much as target fixation tunnel vision. He was straightforward. He wasn't doing mirror checks before. He was looking at his yeah. mirrors. He was looking at all the mirrors. This time he was just he was totally focused on the task. I agree. He was doing. Mm -hmm. 
one, one thing that proves that point changes. was on that last one, he failed to see that red car exactly. come to a rapid yeah, stop next to him, exactly. indicating a, some sort of a hazard or some Something sort of an accident avoidance. That. To see if he ended up in the in making comment at all. So the road is off to your left here. So we'll put it in drive. Just take a foot off the gas. Merge into traffic at the top of the hill. The same amount of issue as Adam did, in my opinion. She seemed to be a little calmer, maybe a little bit more focused. She was able to see it. You know, she reacted properly to the stoppage in the road. Um, she gave an adequate amount of distance. I did see her looking around a little bit, you know, checking her mirrors a little bit more and very, very cognizant of using her turn signals. They, they most, you know, they must mm -hmm. think that's a very important thing, but each one of them made a, a distinct use of those. But in that construction zone, as we know, which is one of our biggest killers of roadway workers, she says, I'm going to slow down, and when in fact she ended up speeding up. She gets going 50 she miles an hour. You know. And so that seemed to be a big thing, which was almost backwards. I mean, she ended up driving almost, I, you know, paying attention, driving faster than what she did originally. She was a little bit faster, but this time she was even a little bit more faster than she ended up driving. So, but I agree, so control around the corners. Now, towards the end in town, did you notice everything she was cutting short? Absolutely. Almost everything, the yellow lines cutting everything short and when she ended up turning. When she ended up making a left hand turn, she never looked right, not once. She didn't look, she didn't do a head check to the right. So if traffic would have ended up coming through an intersection, she never would have saw it. But she ended up driving a little bit like that the first time too. So I think that's driver habits more than anything on that. The, the left turns, and that's something that we actually train the officers on, the wide left turns, the wide turns, because the body's not paying attention and they're, they're not able to focus as properly. So when she made her left turn, the first one, she went way out into the second lane, the second lane almost all the way to the right edge of that, and then the second one, she, she turned right in the middle of the both lanes and then yeah. right, rode the, the median, the, the, the dotted line, for right. several feet before she, she corrected and moved outwards. So. There's a sense of euphoria that comes out of using certain drugs, and as you can see, she was a little silly at times, giggling and making uh -huh. fun of stuff. Yeah. And, you know, just kind of having fun with it, which is fine, but this was told to be a serious situation. And that's something that we find is the inappropriate comments or the, the laughter or just the not taking not taking the situation as serious as one should. Which she was definitely more lighter in her mood this time than she was the last time. Oh, yeah. If you've got it, watch it. If you don't, call your TV provider to get HDNet today.